What's up? What's up? What's up? So, we gotta talk about something, okay? Because this is something I've been doing this week and it just needs to stop because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like we're better than this, you know? And I had this, ooh, let me turn on, let me not turn on my blinkers because I'm parked in the parking lot. But, you know, I'm finding myself lately and I'm getting in my head because there's things that I want to accomplish with my physique. And as usual, things move a lot slower than we want them to. And so let me see if I can turn this off. Okay. So if you guys come, I can't see if you're talking to me because I've just moved the comments because it's distracting. And then I can't, I can't keep my train of thought. Oh no. Hang on. We'll get it together in a second. There we go. So, as females, and I don't know that guys necessarily do this, but females, we're really good at talking down to ourselves, right? We get in our head, and things never happen in the same way that we think that they should. Things never happen as fast as, as we want them to. We compare ourselves to other women, and we think, like, if you're me, like I think for where I am in my weightlifting journey, I should be a lot stronger than I am. I feel like my physique should look a certain way. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel all these ways about myself and it's not necessarily always constructive, you know? It's not positive things that I'm saying to myself. And I've gotten so much better. Let me just preface this by saying, I've gotten so much better as a person and having a better relationship with myself and recognizing when I'm talking crazy to myself and when I need to cut myself some slack and then when I need to like crack the whip and get a little hard on myself. But I will say my self-esteem is better than it ever has been. And I recognize that I got game and mama got a little bit going on and that the reality is is that my body looks better than it has been in a, in a, in a while. So all that to say though, I'm still a female. And I'm still really good at talking down to myself and getting in my head and catching my reflection when I try on that bathing suit in the Target bathroom or the, excuse me, the Target dressing room and looking at it and seeing the reflection that is staring back at me and having moments of weakness where I'm totally hating on myself. And it's like looking at myself and going, girl, have you ever picked up a weight? Girl, maybe you should think about a little bit more salad. Girl, that cake is out of control. Like, you know, we've all been there before. And so, like, it's easy to buy into that stuff where you sit there and you just down yourself. And, oh, my gosh, could you just, like, stop for a minute and think, if anybody talked to you like that, how long would you allow that to happen? And in the same token, if you spoke to other people like you talked to yourself, how long do you think that they would be your friends? Not long at all. And the reality is, is that we have a group of people who look at us and they see us through one set of spectacles that we don't often share. We don't share that same perspective about ourselves. And so we just get caught up in this cycle of hating on ourselves for no reason. There's no reason at all for it. Because we're beautiful and we're miraculous and we're just amazing. And yet we are really, really good at not recognizing any of those things about ourselves and instead focusing and honing in on all these imperfections and flaws that we see. And I'm going to speak for the fellas because I feel like I've talked to enough fellas to know that this is true, that most of the imperfections and flaws that women see in themselves, men do not see. There's a small population of men who are very vocal about what the female figure should look like, but for the most part, men, you ask the average man, they are not worried or concerned about a little bit of self cellulite. They are not worried or concerned about a little bit of jiggle. They are not worried or concerned about some junk in the trunk or a little bit of a muffin top. They're not. Because guess what? They are just, they're looking at things in a different way than we are, you know? And so we have to always remind ourselves that while we've got goals and it's good to work on those goals, it's not going to happen overnight. And you got to give yourself some grace and some mercy and talk to yourself in the same way that other people will. I am fascinated by these women that I see on the regular and I look at them and they're, it's usually a bigger woman that I see and their self-confidence is like 
bubbling over. Like the things that they say about themselves or the way that they talk about themselves. I mean, they are fabulous and they know it. And it's so contagious. And I look at myself and I'm like, I wish I felt that way about myself, you know, to look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh, girl, yes, yes, honey, yes. But the reality is, is that most of the time, I don't feel that way about myself. Can I get an amen? Amen. So here's what I think we need to start doing, ladies. And I really think that this is going to revolutionize everything because what we think about ourselves becomes how we feel and what we believe. And that's why a single thought can become incredibly powerful. So here's what we're going to do. I know y'all have always had, I know that y'all have had this experience where you're walking down the street and some brother trying to holler at you. He's trying to holler at the girl and they try to pick up on you like, oh girl, oh girl. And you don't know how you're feeling that way. You may feel like you look like a train wreck, but they don't see that. They see all the good things and they're going to let you know. Or maybe, I don't know, I've been barked at, trying to get my attention before, kissed at, whistled at, I don't know, maybe there was some growling involved, I don't know, it was kind of scary, felt like I was in the jungle, but it's neither here nor there. They were trying to get my attention because what they saw looked good, and what I saw in the mirror did not look good, and the two did not match up. But I don't think there's anything wrong with talking to ourselves in the way that those gentlemen try to pick us up. I'm saying be a little lewd and offensive with yourself, in a good way obviously, not in a bad way. And obviously, you can make this sound however you want this to sound for yourself. But I really think that this is a pretty amazing thing because I've been trying this on myself and I've been forcing myself when I look at the mirror and I see my reflection to give myself a little, mm-hmm, girl, yep, look at that booty. Look at that booty. Oh, girl, look, just look at it. Just look at it and give it a little smack. And I'm telling you, it made me laugh and it gave me a little bit of confidence. And it just like empowered me to take control of the way that I feel. Because think about it, the way you feel is entirely dependent on what you choose to see of yourself. And I think that so much of the negative self-talk that we rope ourselves into is just, and, and to be quite honest, I feel like it's the devil. And because those are not certainly fruits of the Spirit, if it was a fruit of the Spirit, you could read all about that in the Bible. Um, not a single fruit of the Spirit is a negative thing. It's all good things. And so I think if you would t take yourself when you start to rope into those negative, that negative train wreck and that negative train of thought that you get on of that you're not good enough and you're so fat and you're so stupid and how could you fail again or whatever that might be or however that might look for you, that you take a minute, take those thoughts captive and recognize it as what it is. Because the reality is, is that you are just the way that you are and you can improve on that. And there's a way that you can love yourself as you are right now, but also continue to work on self so that you just continue to become a better version of yourself. And I think that those are really important. And that's how we get a better relationship with food and a better relationship with exercise. Because if you are right now, you're eating as a mechanism of reward or punishment, that's not right. I think if you are exercising as a mechanism of punishment, you ate too much, therefore you're going to go do these things, or you don't like the way your body looks, and therefore, if that's your sole purpose for doing these things, you know, I don't necessarily believe that that's the right place to be, but if you are exercising as a form of really trying to reap the rewards of hard work, or you are doing it because you you appreciate what your body can do for you and you want to get stronger, you want to get faster, you want to be healthier. You know, if you're eating from a standpoint of, you know, okay, maybe you overindulged one day. Okay, big deal. Get back on the plane the next day. You don't have to go like jump on the treadmill for four hours or kill yourself and beat yourself up for falling off of your plan. Do you see what I'm saying here? What I'm saying, and I'm doing it probably in a really inarticulate way, is that we just need to be a little kinder to ourselves and talk a little bit kinder to ourselves and talk pretty to ourselves and tell us the things that make us feel good about ourselves. If you need to objectify yourself, you be my guest. Go right ahead because it has 
it has made me laugh so many times because I'm giving myself the same uh, cat calls that I've been given in my lifetime and I love it. It makes me laugh so much and you just say it in your head. You don't have to say it out loud unless you want to say it out loud and then other people might think you're talking about them and I don't know, I wouldn't recommend doing that in the office because you might get called into HR but at the end of the day, you're just sexually harassing yourself. So there's that. But anyway, I just thought that this was something that we need to get on board with because when we begin to love ourselves and where we are right now, there's a lot of good that can come from that. And that helps to strengthen and make this whole relationship with self, with food, with exercise just better. It makes it healthier so that you are a better person long term. You got it? So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Plus, I'm just sitting in the car waiting, waiting, just waiting my life away, you know? So anyway, hope all is well. Uh, for those that are local, I hope to see you in Zumba tomorrow night. We've got black light. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love it when we do black light. It's just an interesting vibe and a really cool energy. Um, we had 30 in class on Wednesday, which was just the coolest thing. The energy was off the charts, and I'd love to see that again. Um, so you guys come on out. If you've got questions, hit me up. I'll be happy to answer them. And God bless every one of us. We're fabulous and we're pretty, whoop, pretty stinking fine if you ask me. So, love y'all. Keep it classy. Bye.